Good morning. Today we are here at Whole Foods Market. We're going to go and check out some of the grocery prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Since we're coming to Whole Foods here, they do have a lot of organic products. So if you like organic, you will enjoy this video most likely. Uh, we got the organic strawberries here, $6.99. They are a little pricey. Uh, $4.99 for the regular conventional strawberries, $4.99 for organic raspberries, $7.99 for the bigger packs of organic raspberries here. And then they have the red currants here, $4.99 for those. One thing of pretty much the best deal that you can get at Whole Foods is if you are an Amazon Prime member. If you are a Prime member, then you will get the best deal. If not, you'll get the sale price here on these blueberries for $4.43, but if you use your Prime membership, you'll get them for $3.99. Now they have some organic kiwi fruit here, $3.49 if you're an Amazon Prime member. If not, on sale for $3.88, regular price, $4.99. They have some three pound bag mandarins grown in the USA, uh, $4.49 on sale with the Prime. If you don't have the Prime, it is $4.99, regular price, $5.49. So regular prices in Whole Food Market here is pretty expensive. I do have to say, look at these sumo mandarins, they look fantastic. Uh, they are $3.49 a pound with a Prime membership, sale price $3.88 a pound and I'll try to go over the different sale prices so if you're not a prime member you'll know that that is what you have to pay. They have organic honey crisp apples here $3.49 a pound on the prime membership $3.88 a pound on sale without. I am noticing that a lot of these prices have gone up since the last time I've been here but it's been a long time since I've been to Whole Foods. A little unaffordable for us but we have gotten some requests for me to check out Whole Foods that is why we are here today. We did try these broccoli florets, and I gotta say, some of the best broccoli I've ever had. I will give them credit for that. $3.29 a bag, though. No extra sale on this. This is just regular price. Uh, well, they do have the organic here, but these are gonna be $4.29. We got this one here, no problem with that. I will say that for their organic pears and stuff, they're the same price uh, on the regular sale, on the sale price as what they are at like Meyer or Kroger. Sale price is $1.99 a pound. You'll save an extra 20 cents a pound if you are a Prime member. One thing I will say about pretty much all the produce that I'm seeing here at Whole Foods Market, it looks gorgeous. Uh, they're probably paying a premium price to get this kind of stuff in here. Look at this. See? It doesn't have all the shininess where you can see your reflection. This is nice. These are, you know, organic. I mean, they, as clean looking as possible. I have gotten some apples here in the past and they've always been really good. They always have some interesting options here at Whole Foods as well. They got organic purple stokes, sweet potato, uh, on sale for $2.21 a pound, but Prime members get it for $1.99 a pound. Same with the organic white sweet potatoes and organic Japanese sweet potatoes here. $2.21 a pound on sale, but $1.99 a pound on sale with your Prime membership. A lot of these are grown in the USA. I like how they put that on there where they're grown from. Uh, they got the organic roasted potatoes here. This is $4.99 for 85 pounds. Five pounds for $4.99 organic roasted potatoes. Got some different marinara sauces here. I gotta say these are pretty pricey though. They got some vodka sauce that we always get comments on when we come here. Some people say this is fantastic. It was $5.99 the last time I was here, $6.69 now. Not surprised to see some of these price increases. Uh, I got the Chez Parmesan here. Boy, that is a very small pack for $9.99. But you see how they have that local there? Uh, Plymouth, Wisconsin. So that is coming right from the cheese state. Whenever I visit places that I normally don't shop at, I try to look at some of the products that people have left comments on in the past. This is one of them, the 365 Whole Foods Fresh Chicken. Uh, boneless skinless chicken breast this is $5.99 per pound so it's a little pricey but uh, just checking it out here it's one one of our longtime viewers has commented on in the past they do have the organic here at $6.99 a pound these are the uh, organic uh, no no antibiotics ever boneless skinless chicken thighs uh, and we've gotten good comments on their chicken in the past so definitely wanted to point this one out looks like so this isn't a sale this is just regular price well, here's something I like. Got an olive bar here. I love olive bars. Got some Kalamata. 
olives right here, some green olives, this little red, what is this, Greek olives pitted, red uh, Peruvian pearl peppers. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Never tried those before. We got some sweet and spicy Juanita picante peppers here. Interesting. Yeah, tons of different olives. I found some of these homemade jellies and jams here. Every time they got a local on here, of course the one, okay, yeah. So this is from, where is this from? This one's from Leesburg, Ohio. I can't, uh, Fredericksburg, Ohio, up here. And the one we saw before, that cheese, that was from Wisconsin. So, I, I mean, it might be a local farmer out in Wisconsin, but that definitely is not local to us. Got some of the 365 mixed berries. These are a little cheaper, 469. Got some different peanut butter options, all kinds of stuff you never see in any other stores here. They got Santa Cruz organic crunchy dark roasted peanut butter. That's a lot. $6.79 for that. You got some big spoon toasted coconut. $14.79. They got this chai sauce here. $12.49 for that. Yeah, that's why we don't shop here too much, because a lot of this is pretty expensive. But you know, you gotta look around, you gotta see what deals there are. Plus, might be some things in here that you've never tried before that. You know, you may want to just give a go. Crofter's Strawberry Organic Premium Spread. $6.39 for that. I don't know about this. Strawberry Banana Organic. <laughs> they do sell a lot of different organic juices here. They got the 365 Pure Cranberry Concord Grape. $3.19. That's They do sell nuts in here. $8.79 for that just blueberry. They do sell the Concord Grape for pretty close to what the regular price is at Kroger. But, you know, we can usually find sales at Kroger. They do have some other sales on some of these other juices. If you're a Prime member, get it for $7 for this one here, the Pure Black Cherry. Uh, and they're all random, different prices. But you got to see right here, like, this will be the regular price. So the regular price of this right here is $10.49. That is crazy. Sale, $7.79. So if you're not a Prime member, that's the one you want to look at right there. But we have, with the Prime, that is what you'll pay, $7 and one penny. When I'm in a store like this, one of the things I always like to check are some of the end caps because that's usually where you're going to find some of the best deals. Organic protein here with Prime 2410. We're just going to focus on the Prime prices. Some of them like this one here. This is aloe vera gel. Uh, that's kind of weird. Organic whole leaf aloe vera juice. $6.21 on Prime. I'll try to point out the sales we go along. $6.90. So you're saving, it seems like on average with a Prime membership, you're saving between 50 and 70 cents on pretty much every product that is on sale though. It's not with everything. I will say this right now, this is the most Bob's Red Mill flour and different other things by Bob's Red Mill I've ever seen in one spot. They got hazelnut flour. I don't know if I've ever seen that. 15.49, that might be too expensive for some stores. That might be why, but they've got potato starch, arrowroot, uh, tapioca, wow. That's interesting. And Bob, all kinds of different Bob's Red Mill. I know we get a lot of comments on Bob's Red Mill products on the channel. It may be worth it here to just come to uh, Whole Foods Market, you know, just to check them out. I mean, they have tons of them. Got the cornmeal here. Cornmeal, somebody was asking about this the other day. $3.99 for that one. This is the coarse ground, and then they have the medium grind, $5.49. Oh, they have some of the King Arthur gluten-free mixes here. We've gotten comments on these in the past. These are hard to find. Not too surprised to find these here. Uh, but as you can see, though, they're pretty expensive. So I could see a store selling this. I don't know if this would do very well at, like, Kroger or Meyer. But, uh, yeah, they got them. Gotten some comments on these in the past. I'm not going to begin to go over all of this honey that they have here, but they've got a lot of raw honey, a lot of local here. See, that's from Hamilton, Ohio here. Got some creamed honey. I like how they put that, where they're sourcing it out from. Hamilton, Ohio. This one's from Akron, Ohio right here. Akron honey. That's pretty cool. So I wanted to check out the Mary's Ground Turkey. This is one that one of our longtime viewers has talked about for a while. Uh, this is it. This is it. The fresh ground turkey here. $6.40. They're all different prices. Uh, some of it's pretty 98% lean, $9.99 a pound. Um, and they have the, let's see, this is the 93% lean, $63 or $60, $6.49. Good Lord. <laughs> if it was 60 something, I wouldn't even be in this store. Uh, let's see, they got some of the 365 ground chicken. 
round chicken down here for $6.99 a pound. So right next to here, I was looking at this. I remember uh, someone had said that they really liked the 365 organic milk, uh, almond milk here. They do have it here, 369 for that. Did I say three? I meant 365, but 369 is the price for that one. They have the unsweetened vanilla almond. They have a bunch of different ones here. Uh, vanilla coconut right here, original coconut. Uh, these are $5.39 for this. They, they have so many different milk and milk substitutes. They got the original soy here, uh, $3.19 for that. And they got Snowville, Lactaid, which is a popular brand, but yeah, all kinds. They got Horizon down here too. So, boy, Horizon's kind of big. Oh, that's grass-fed. Wow, organic grass-fed milk. Okay, $6.49 for that one. All kinds of different organic orange juices here. They have Uncle Matt's. Her I've heard about that one before. Uh, it's a little pricey. Um, but the 365 people have said it's really good. They got the organic orange pulp. $5.29. I'll tell you what. I'm going to go against my... Uh, I'm going to try this. Because we've gotten some good comments on it in the past. I like to get one like closer to the back here. Check the expiration date here. February 28, 2024. Organic orange juice. No pulp. $5.29, way more than I would ever want to spend, but because we've had a lot of long-time viewers that seem to really like this orange juice, and you probably get it when it's on sale, but I'm going to try it, so I'll let you know what I think at the end of the video. They have a bunch of other, I was in the oatmeal aisle here, they have a bunch more uh, like organic oats, old-fashioned rolled oats here, and they got uh, Bob's Red Mill everywhere here at Whole Foods Market. I know we have a lot of viewers on the channel that love Bob's Red Mill, but you know, we're always trying to find them in different stores. Surprisingly, Big Lots has a good variety, but not like Whole Foods here. Definitely way better, or way more. I don't know if it's a better deal. It doesn't look like it, but some of these products we can't find anywhere else. Here's some of the shelf-stable milks they got here. Almond Breeze on sale for $209, $229 regular price. So this is about the same price as what it would be at Kroger. But they have some of their organic ones here as well. These are $1.99 regular price, so a little better than uh, the name brand competition here i don't know would you consider i guess this would be a name brand for whole foods i guess no it's still store brand they have all different kinds of whole foods organic coffees here it's pretty much all organic they do sell pete's they do have pete's coffee here uh for about the same price you're going to find it everywhere else uh again if you know any coffee from whole foods that uh that you like let us know down in the comments oh look they sell Stumptown. Not surprised as that is very expensive. Uh, they sell Death Wish coffee also. Now that's the smaller bags for $13.99. And they have Peace Coffee. I've heard of this one before. Oh boy, these are expensive though, I gotta say. Uh, they got all different kinds, different varieties, new things. So yeah, make sure you let us know down in the comments if you've tried any of these and if they're any good. Well, I never thought I would ever see Bigelow Tea higher than what Kroger sells it for. Kroger sells it for $4.29. $4.99, $4.99, so Whole Foods Market wins for the highest price Bigelow tea ever. I do like how they make these different pizzas here, and they have like a little eatery behind me here. There's a lot of people over there, so I don't want to get in their way or anything. A lot of these kind of look like they've been sitting for a little while. Oh, I don't know. Maybe that's how they're supposed to look. Oh, they look like they're stone-baked pizzas. That's pretty nice. Uh, all different kinds here. They have these fresh made pizzas here too or you make them yourself they're just prepared for you uh 10.99 for a couple of these and then they have the uncured pepperoni for 11.99 got some different uh i don't know what the burritos pre-made salads not 8.99 for the, this one here there's a lot going on in that so it does look like whole foods is also pushing the Happy New Year. Let's get back on the vitamins and supplements and stuff like that. They got a 33% off with Prime going on through January 9th. They've got a 25% off without Prime. So all of their different herbal supplements and stuff like that will either be 33% off with Prime or 25% off without. I want to check out some of their different canned vegetables here. They don't really sell many. Kind of surprised. I thought they had more than this. A lot of them, well, they're organic, but... 219 a can some of these are crazy artichoke cards well that's always a little more expensive non-gmo on that 339 a can got the whole kernel sweet corn here $1.99 a can for that and then they have some other brands down here 
This one right here is probably the most affordable here. Butter kernel, whole kernel corn, $1.59. Same price as pretty much all cans of Del Monte. Well, not all, but most of the usuals now. Everything's getting expensive, guys. Everything's going up. Some of these prices in here are just, I don't know. It's not cheap. Got some different organic bean options here. Pinto beans, $1.29 a can. Regular price. They do sell Amy's products here, but I don't know, $4.69 a can. Sheesh. It's pretty expensive. Uh, we got some vegan refried ranchero beans there, $3.29 for those. All different kinds of things. You know, this is a place you pretty much gotta like come into and just look for yourself. A lot of a lot of these kind of things I've never seen anywhere else. One thing is for sure, I am finding a lot of gaping holes here at Whole Foods here. Um, got some of this. I saw the peanut butter aisle. I'll have to go back and check the bigger peanut butters. I noticed that they're bigger size. Uh, we'll go over that in a minute. Uh, some of these are, you know, better priced, but still not as cheap as we can get in the stores. All of a sudden, all the store brands canned beans that have been going up to 89 cents lately i don't feel so bad because the cheapest ones here are dollar nine okay so this is the peanut butter i was talking about you can see here that they're not getting it much in that creamy they only have three of these here now it's 4.99 these are the cheaper things so i mean that's probably why it's 40 ounces for 4.99 got the crunchy for the same down there uh big thing of almond butter don't see a price on that one they got the smaller ones down here for 2.69 Okay, so I remember someone was talking about the 365 Whole uh, Whole Foods Market rice packets here, saying that they were very good. Um, well, this one here is organic. They're 329, 269 here for the conventional, I guess you would call it. They do sell the seeds of change up here though, which we've gotten a lot of comments on these 369 a pack, um, but they do have a little bit of variety of them. They do have some of their dry beans in. We got a comment, it's been a while, but someone had said that you had gone into your Whole Foods and they were completely out of their dry beans. I assume this is the one you were talking about, the 365 brand, which is the Whole Foods brand. $339 for some of these, $449, $499. Yeah, these, oh, I know they're organic, but there's, uh, this store can be a little overwhelming, especially, you know, my whole intention of today was to come in here to see if I could find any deals that would be close to some of the regular prices in other stores. Uh, we have a lot of people on the channel that shop at Whole Foods, so I thought it would be interesting to come in here and try and see what coupons, you know, make it worth it. But I mean, even some of this stuff, it's like even with the Prime membership, I mean, yeah, you're saving a, a little more than on the sale. So if you're a Prime member, you know, it may be worth it on some items, but I still feel like everything in here is just way overpriced whole paycheck as some people call it so let me ask you all something this is a product of the netherlands right atlantic salmon fillets 24.99 for two pounds that are frozen not fresh frozen farm raised so it's not wild caught you feel like that's worth 25 dollars okay so the cheapest eggs that i see here they claim that these chickens have outdoor access i guess three dollars and 39 cents the reason why i want to point this out is because we know that egg prices have been going up everywhere i was curious if these have it's hard to tell around here they've got organic large brown eggs here these are 4.99 and then they have organic you know a bunch of other fancy writing on it here 7.29 for these i'll tell you what this makes the two dollar and 59 cent milk that i get at kroger seem well worth it this for their cheapest milk five dollars and 29 cents and that doesn't say organic anywhere i don't know if it really even matters i don't know i don't know 529 for a gallon of milk i just wouldn't drink it they do have these rayo's pizzas here that a lot of uh, viewers on our channel really raved about here saying they are awesome might try one at some point let me know if you know where there's i think we can find better prices on this regular price 12.99 on sale with prime 9.89 but you know, I don't know. It's a it's a smaller pizza too. It's not like a large pizza, but we did get a lot of good comments on it. Organic shoestring cut fries for three dollars and seventy nine cents. Uh, for three dollars and sixty nine cents, you can get two pounds at Kroger. Um, <laughs> check out some of the different 
frozen vegetables here. They got some okra here and Brussels sprouts, both of them $3.29 a bag, non-GMO, 16 ounces. Organic broccoli florets here for $3.29. And they have their chopped frozen spinach here for $3.29. Organic root vegetables here, $2.99. That is 16 ounces as well. I remember the last time me and Jessica were here, we tried this spinach manicotti here. It was like $6.99 and I felt like that was too much. Uh, but she wanted to try it. You know, we were trying a couple new things. $9.29 now for that. So yeah, that's definitely gone up in price. They do have a lot of different cooking oils here, a lot of different olive oils from all over the world. They got something from Greece there, Morocco, Portugal, Seville, and then they got the 365. Boy, I'll tell you, I mean, they are expensive though. And I, you know, it's like to try something, you know, whether you don't know if you're going to like it or not. I wish they'd sold like little tiny bottles, you know, a little tiny one. Just see if you'd like it, you know, for a dollar or two. You know, that way you don't have to spend, you know, $20 on something you have no idea if you're going to like or not. So I was kind of walking around here off camera just seeing if I could find anything that was comparable to even Kroger. Uh, this is about it, guys. <laughs> De Checo Pasta, $2.69. Um, it's about the same price as it is at Kroger and everywhere else. I've seen it at some places for $2.99. So if we had to pick one item, this would be it. thought we would check out some of their different pasta options. Organic spaghetti here, $1.79. There's no way that's a pound, though. What is that? Uh, it is one pound. Okay, I was wrong. I stand corrected. Well, that is all I could take at Whole Foods Market here. Uh, you know, if we're trying new things, if, you, if you're coming, don't come to Whole Foods and think about saving money. You're not going to save money here. Uh, but if you're coming here for treats, things to try, things that are new... You know, I can't imagine grocery shopping here all the time, but I could see where if you're wanting to try new things, maybe some healthier options, this is a place. I know we have viewers on the channel here that shop at Whole Foods Market, and I applaud you because these things are expensive. But if you have certain dietary restrictions and stuff like that, uh, if some things you need that other stores just don't sell, Whole Foods seems to sell a lot of that stuff. So, you know, we'll have to check that out. Oh yeah, the orange juice. Okay, so I just poured some of this overpriced orange juice here into one of my cups. And I, you know, it's organic, so it's gonna cost a little more. Got the, uh, got it right here. Oh, kinda caught me off guard there for a second. Tastes like orange juice, I mean, I don't, I don't taste anything special. Um, tastes a little more like watery. Uh, but, you know, there is a lot of water in orange juice. You got to shake it real good. But I don't know. Simply simply orange is one of my favorites. Um, and I think that tastes better. Simply orange tastes better. Um, but it's okay. We got a lot of good comments on it. So I wanted to taste it. Um, it does kind of taste natural. Like, I mean, it doesn't... You, you don't taste any of the hard bites. Very sour uh taste to it kind of let you know that yeah it is real <laughs> i don't know i don't know a lot of people had commented on that one in the past so i wanted to try it make sure you let us know down in the comments like we said before any of these items uh that you like buying at whole foods are there any other ways to save here at whole foods because i tried like crazy to find them today and i could not but anyway guys thank you so much for watching the video today i hope it helped with all that being said i am out and always remember the adventure is out there.